Hello everybody and welcome, my name is Gara Ben 10 and today here on this exciting Yu-Gi-Oh! video we are going to be going over my Dark Warrior Orcus, Orcus combo tutorial for the deck profile that I posted yesterday. If you guys have not seen that deck profile, then make sure to click the link on the screen or if you want to see the combo tutorial first, there will be a link at the end of this video and in the description box that will take you to that video. Um, but we're gonna sh I'm going to show off the two basic combos for the deck to kind of help you learn how to play the deck for the deck that I posted. Now there are two type there are two combos for it. There's the game two and three combo where it's just full Orcus combo with uh, your opponent having an Ibli that you can potentially do Dark Warrior stuff with af um, after you get the Ibli depending on what your starting out cards are. But we basically want to do the get the opponent the ability so we can go and not have to worry about Nibiru. So starting off, you, for that combo, we want to we have an Ibli and a random discard card in our hand. So what we're going to do is we're going to normal summon the Ibli. Once we normal summon the Ibli, we're going to link that off into a nightmare into a Nightmare Mermaid. That Nightmare Mermaid will then be Chain Link 1, Ibli Chain Link 2, Ibli to special summon that to our opponent's side of the field so we can no longer get Nibiru. We also have to discard the Call by the Grave for cost. Now we get to go to our deck and summon out our Orcus Nightmare from our deck in in defense position. Well, it doesn't have to be in defense position, but we should put it in defense position and then we're going to immediately link away into our first Galatea. And now we're going to banish the Orcus Nightmare, which is then locking us into Dark Monsters to send the our nice little Harp Horror to the graveyard. And then we're going to banish the Harp Horror to special summon out our Orcus Symbol Skeleton. And the reason why we do that is because we now are going to well i don't that's what that's just what we're going to do next we're going to shuffle back the harp horror into the deck to then set ourselves a crescendo or the orcus babble i always start off with the crescendo that way we can just have it and not have to worry about whatever our opponent is going to be doing. Um, if we were going to be playing Bomber Dragon, which I'm not, um, you could play Bomber Dragon and then have a disruption with uh, Babel, which makes our Orcus Monsters quick effects. But in this case, I'm just showing off this combo. Next, we're going to go ahead and link these off into a Link 3. That Link 3 is going to be our Longrisu. And then Longrisu, we are going... After the Longrisu, we're going to banish the symbol skeleton to then banish, to then special summon out our Galatea. Then we have these two engraved and, I mean banished and our Galatea. Next we are going to then overlay on top of the Galatea and move this right there for our Dingrisu. Activate Dingrisu's effect to then attach itself to the nice little symbol skeleton and then that is pretty much our combo with just the one Ibli and then the discard we have a set crescendo we have ourselves a Dingrisu with two materials and we have ourselves a long Grisu now that and with our opponent also having Ibli the Ibli will not help if our opponent is playing playing an Orcus card we just gave them a free start but it is what it is to protect yourself against Nibiru. Now, what we are going to now, what I'm going to show off is our Dark Warrior uh, combo, which we actually got ourselves the card that we need. So this is going to start us off with well, we need to discard fodder. So we're going to start off with our near space connector, and then any discard is what we need for our dark warrior combo this one's a little more complicated but 
we go ahead, we normal summon our Neospace connector, and then what we do from there is we activate connector's effect, connector will then special summon out Aqua Dolphin. Um, at this point, if we suspect our opponent has a card that is lower than 800 attack, we can discard another card in our hand, because we have four other cards in our hand at this point, and then look at their hand, which I always recommend to do. It's only 500 life points unless you're about to go into time, but... I digress. Then we're going to go ahead and go into our Isolde. Isolde we're going to use to search for our red layer and add that to hand because we didn't use that. And then we're going to use Isolde's effect to send equip spells to grave for cost. So one, two, three, and four. To then special summon out our nice little Armageddon Knight. Armageddon Knight's effect is then going to activate, and this is where we can choose either Overtax Quatless or Strudo. Um, if you're going first, you send Overtax Quatless. If you're going second and you think you can Boral Sword OTK, you then send a Strudo if they control a card. Um, in this case, we're going to send our Overtax Quatless to the grave. Quatless's effect will then activate to let us search out our double evolution pill. So. We started off, we had just got plus two cards in our hand from only summoning one card. And then from here, what we're going to do is we are going to summon out our ultimate conductor Tyranno by banishing a warrior and a non-warrior to summon out our ultimate conductor Tyranno. I always put it in this far zone, that way I don't have to worry about my zone placements at all. And then from here, we can go into our full Orcus combo by special summoning out our Cerberus. And then into our nice little mermaid. And then follow that same Orcus combo through to summon out <coughs> our nice little nightmare. Go ahead and banish out the Galatea. Banish the Nightmare to then send Harpoor and then banish Harpoor to special summon out our Skeleton. And then we're going to shuffle back into our deck the Nightmare to then go through and set ourselves the Crescendo. Link off into Longrisu. There we go. And then banish to special Galatea. And then we're going to overlay Ding. Attach the skeleton to our Dingrisu. And then there is our whole ending board. Now, you could do a lot of stuff with this ending board. Um, and in this case, I may even go so far to, to not set Crescendo and set Babel. That way I have some more interruptions. Because if I really needed to send a card, I can use on Grease's effect to send Dingreesu to Grave and then banish the skeleton to send a card with Dingreesu if I really needed to, if I had Babel. But it is what it is. So the last combo I'm going to show is kind of our... Um, the Mare Mare combo, and I'll just take a second for everything to reset. And, you know, top of the deck, top of the deck, top of the deck. And this is going to kind of show off what we can do with our Mare Mare combo. Starting off with, for this, what we need is we need ourselves a Neospace connector. And then we also need ourselves a either another card in hand or an extender so we're going to add blue mountain butter spy so starting off normal summoner connector and then we're going to special summon out our nice butter spy and then the connector is going to let us uh, special summon out our aqua Dolph from our deck and we're going to move this over here and then what we're going to do is we're going to go into our nice little Isolde. 
is old effect to add, add the red layer. And then it's old effect to send equip spells. We'll send one, two, let me see, three and four. To then special summon out our nice little Armageddon Knight, wherever that may be. That's the thing I hate about 60 card decks is it's always hard to find what you're looking for. There we go. And then in this case, Armageddon Knight is going to send our Destrudo to Grave, and then we're going to pay half our life points to special summon out the Destrudo. Now, from here, let's assume that our opponent has has a token or has a monster on their side of the field or any card on their side of the field. So Destrudo now becomes a level 3 because we targeted a level 4. This is going to go to the bottom of the deck, and we're going to get rid of the Armageddon Knight to then summon out Yazi. Now Yazi's effect, we are going to target Yazi and we're gonna target this nice little token, destroy them both, and then Yazi's second effect will activate to let us special summon out Mare Mare. And then Mare Mare's, we're gonna use Mare Mare's effect three times to summon out three tokens. And we're actually going to, we want to summon Mare Mare right here. So we're going to summon out three tokens. And then we're going to remove two, link with two of the tokens into B Cop. And then one of the tokens into Link Rebo. And then with our board right here, um, our opponent doesn't control anything right now. Um, with these three monsters, we can then go ahead and link off into Boral Sword. Right here. And in this case, right here, this would be game. But if we wanted to go a step further, we can then go ahead and... If we wanted protection, let's say they had multiple back row, then we could go ahead, overlay into... If they have multiple back row... Overlay into Phoenix and discard a card to pop a back row. And then we can then go to our nice little mermaid and then go full Orcus combo, sending other cards they control to the graveyard to attack for game. And that is kind of how the deck works. So if you guys enjoyed this video or have any questions make sure to comment down below and like the video and that's gonna be it guys hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time peace out